this button. Okay. Um, so this is, I'm going to say it wrong every time. Penny Larceny, Gig Economy Supervillain. I'm going to say it wrong every time. Um, this is Penny Larceny, Gig Economy Supervillain. And I like that it starts right off with a content warning um, to say this game is about being a criminal and can optionally include obscene language, discussions of sexuality, and romance. It can also deal with triggering subjects such as violence and self-harm. There is a list of the full, fa full content warning. Um, Fiction Factory Games has done this for Arcade Spirits as well. And usually what they have is they have a content warning that is a general one and a content warning that gets into specifics. So... The specifics may spoil, so that's why they have both options. Hey, Sue, good morning. Um, so I like that this starts with this. It says it has controller support, so let's see if that's a if that's true. I'm gonna just pop that there. A delightful delivery of dastardly deeds. All right. I like the vibe so far. Let me make sure that it looks all right for y'all. Not bad. Um, I already booped the options. I booped the options a little bit, so the volume shouldn't be too loud. Let me actually check that right now. Um, could be, uh, could be a little bit lower. I think I will actually do that in my mixer. There, that's a little better. Okay, um, but per usual, you've got, um, you've got all the standard options for a visual novel, which I appreciate. I have it running at full screen. Um, being able to change how the dialogue looks, the text font, which is important, uh, solid or transparent, and um, what you skip. So if you like go back and like, you know, basically do you want to see everything again or skip? And then the text speed, which is good because some people don't stream games, if you can understand that, and they just read. So they're able to process text on the screen very quickly and just go boop and want to get next to the next one. Uh, that's me when I play games off stream. I'm a very, I'm a very like fast reader, like got it, move on kind of person. Um, all right, let's see here. There we go. Uh, okay. I think loot is after you've, yeah, after you've basically unlocked some things, um, and the game has the game is set to come out this month so um so let's give it a shot hey hey good to see you i mean i can't exactly see you but i know you're there and that's enough feels good having some company tonight's going to be stressful this is a make or break moment for us but before we dive into the deep end, we gotta do some paperwork first. I know, I know, busy work sucks, but it's important stuff. Statement of request for gainful employment. All right, what's our alias? Our alias, they give us options of Jane Doe, John Smith, Amanda Hug and Kiss, Seymour Butts, and Jess Kidding. Oh, Wow. I kind of like Amanda Hug and Kiss. And as usual, you can get all of, like, tons of pronoun options, which is wonderful. Uh, we'll go with they, them. I think, yeah. Uh, we can modify the skin tone.
Okay, so for swearing. Oh, is it not? Hold on, is it? Wait. Oh, you can? Uh, let me go check the actual stream to make sure, because sometimes it does have a problem where it didn't update. Oh. Oh, hold on. One sec. OBS can be weird sometimes about these games, so let's see here. Let's try... Okay, let me actually go and check the actual stream now, because... Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna go in the game. Okay, so I went to the options. <laughs> composure, composure, composure. All right. Um, Okay. Okay. Um, all right. I think having it non full screen uh, should work. So I now have it windowed and let me know if things are moving as quickly as they should move. Um, all right. So let's uh, return. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. It's a little bit behind, I think. Well, no. Me watching my own stream is a little behind because I'm always lagged on Twitch, but having it out of windowed mode helped. So again, um, streaming is tough, as it always is. I think we're going to stick with Amanda Hug and Kiss, unless anyone has a better name for our, our profile. Uh, swearing, full words, partial words, completely censored, or silly, which I appreciate. Um, hey, Steven. I appreciate that they're like, yeah, we'll replace all that stuff. We'll just say the word. And romance. Romance options. Allows you to romance other characters. Safe for work. So we'll say yes. Sexuality. Sexual options. Allows you to have sex with other characters. Actually, sex occurs off screen and is not visually depicted or described in detail. So... It's not safe for work, but it is safe for streaming. So we'll do that. We may not get to that because I'm not gonna play for a very long, I'm not gonna play for a very long time today. Okay, so this is our, oh. I can't help it, I have to go just kidding. I couldn't help it. Okay, so my alias is gonna be just kidding. Pronouns they, them, and I'm okay with romance and sex. All that sound good? Sounds good. Pleased to meet you, Mix Kidding. And pleased to meet you, too. Ooh, I like the backgrounds. I like the fact that the name of the bar is Destructos. With that out of the way, I turn in my paperwork in exchange for a Hello, my name is sticker. Now I'm ready to mingle, ready to get some shit done. It's a gathering of criminal masterminds, all looking to hire fresh new underlings. Exactly the ticket we need into the big time. Soon, everyone will know the name of... Benny Larceny! Little Mix steal your stuff. <laughs> I sneak in under cover of darkness, tear down every defense between me and my target. And get away clean. Everyone knows and fears Penny Larceny, the hottest young supervillain of this generation. Look the hell out, world. I'm coming for your stuff. Your precious, precious stuff. Hmm. 
All right. Uh, options. Hmm. I'm going to go with this. Hottest young supervillain of their generation? Uh, Penny, we're still small time. Complete unknowns. Okay, so I'm exaggerating. But trust for the job you want, not the job you have. Confidence is a big part of that. If I'm going to be a major player in the mask scene... In the mask scene, I love it. I need to believe in my own hype. We gotta get out of the hole we're in. Ultima ultimatum. Or ultimatum. Ultimatum. Ultimatum? <clears throat> I just love looking at the things that they made. All right, it's tough making it in this world of masks and capes, villains and heroes, and I live pretty firmly outside society's rules. A mask since I was born. Some become masks by choice, eager for power and conquest, but many are forced into it out of desperation and poverty. It's a crap sack world out there, full of haves and have nots. Stay in society's good graces, obey and conform, or be pushed out. I'm sorry, this. This music is giving me Turner Classic Music. Turner Classic Movie Voice, so I'm doing things like this and speaking. I don't know why I'm doing that. It's the music. I blame the music. That's why masks have loosely banded together to support each other. Clearly, no one else gives a shit about us. Brian. One of the support structures for the mass community is Grimer. A, co A combination social media network. Sorry. A combination social media network and gig economy for gig, gig economy market for supervillains. Gosh, your plans, your schemes, our resources, Crimer. Mm. On Crimer, I can work with the best of the best elite masks who run with huge crews and multi-million-dollar operations. I've secured an invite to this Crimer event where potential hench people can hook up with various underworld bosses. Tonight, you and I are putting Pet Penny Larceny on the map. At least they're doing this somewhere familiar. Destructo's Bar and Grill. I've been here plenty of times. Sometimes you want to go where everybody loathes your name, and they're always mad you came. Fortunately, before I have to start figuring out an in for mingling socially, someone speaks up and the crowd hushes. Friends, your attention, please. Thank you all so much for coming to our little party. We hope you'll make valuable contacts today. I'll be directing this event on behalf of Crimer and the King in Yellow. My name is... The Matchmaker. Crimer Henchwoman. And I'm very happy to be here to aid in your villainous schemes. Wow, she's pretty stylish. Nice to see Crimer staff looking all professional and posh and stuff. We're going to do a little thing I like to call speed dating for supervillains. A number of prominent criminal bosses will be seated at tables, and potential hench people will be moved from table to table. You only get a few minutes before the bell rings and you have to move to the next table. Everyone, to your stations. Let this speed dating event commence! Okay, not what I was expecting, but hey, means I don't have to break the ice myself. A crimer assistant directs me to my first table as the bell chimes for the round to begin. And my first villainous dream date is... A mad scientist. That's okay, sometimes you gotta say that name in all caps. I, do we still use that phrase, mad scientist? Is that what we still call them? I mean, fair. A good 23% of masks are mad scientists, according to a recent poll in Masks Monthly. He probably just got denied tenure, okay? 
And the sticky sticker name tag on his doctor's coat reads... Mr. Mayhem. Mad si Okay, so he owns it. He owns it. I was gonna say, like, they're mad about something. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Mayhem. I'm... Doctor. It's Doctor Mayhem. Oh, he's gonna be one of those. And I have the medical... S oh, wow, this is topical. And I have the medical school student loan debt to prove it. Doctor Mayhem. In so much debt. Pronouns are he, him. Oh, I appreciate that. Right. Okay. Dr. Mayhem. Got it. Just because the short-sighted fools stripped me of my doctor, it doesn't make me any less of a doctor. Well... Cowards all, my vision was simply too radical, too unorthodox for their simple minds to comprehend. Oh, okay. Exactly how radical and unorthodox are we talking here? Like... Do you mean didn't fill out the paperwork radical or mountain of human cadavers radical? What? No, 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 no. I mean, I wanted to share my research and vaccines for free, and the industry wanted to profit off my work instead. Shots fired. Damn. When I leaked a cure for a rare disease and cost them millions, the company faked an ethics incident and I lost my license. Wait, are you a villain or a hero? What is going on here? The healthcare industry turns on greed and misery. The, in the healthcare industry turns on greed and misery. They call me villain when they're the true villains. I am suddenly with you right now, Dr. Mayhem. Like, are do you have openings? One day I'll show them all. Mark my words, I will have my revenge! With, like, murder and stuff? That kind of revenge? No, living well is the best revenge, as in I'm going to make sure disadvantaged communities across the world live well. Are you sure you're a villain? Am I in the right place? Are you in the right place? Because, like, fuck those greedy suits. Fuck them. That's all. No murder required. Wait. Shit. You were trying to introduce yourself... That nah, Shit. You were trying to introduce yourself and I interrupted. Sorry. Who are you? Uh, I'm Penny. Penny Larceny. Pronouns are they, them. Okay. For the record, my name's actually Isaac Marquez. I only wear this ridiculous getup and use that ridiculous name because it's expected of me when dealing with masks. It's a good idea to stick to wacky made-up names. It helps with your anonymity and cuts down on paper trails. Yeah, well, I plan to have history remember my name after I cure cancer. Just to stick it in the face of all who doubted Dr. Mayhem! Isaac Marquez. I mean, I meant Isaac. Okay, okay, I've eaten enough, on, I've eaten up enough of our limited time together on this ridiculous speed date. Got any questions for me before we have to move along? Hmm, what do you think? Anything we should clear up before we consider working for the good doctor? Not is a hot dog a sandwich. That is not something you ask on your prospective employer. I'm really, yeah. I'm really tempted by the middle option here. He's clearly a talented doctor. Why the heck is he playing at being a mask? <laughs> I know you said they took away your doctorate and screwed you over, but aren't there like legal means to fight that? Why put on a costume and become a supervillain? I tried to fight it in court, of course, but I lost the case and that just added legal fees on top of my loans. It's clear to me the system is rigged against anyone trying to do actual good in this world. I'm fighting against inequality, and the weapons for that battle are utterly lacking. I can't take apart the system with its own tools. And sadly, that means working with masks. No offense. But this isn't how I want things to go. Hey, I get it. Honestly, I do. Sometimes the world just deals you a losing hand, and you don't have a rich bastard's ability to take a mulligan.
I mean, I know who made this game, and I am not surprised in the least, but wow. Just wow. I promise that when working for me, we'll ultimately be doing good in this world. If that's not your thing, if you're super into the whole evil thing, well, I'm a career I'm a career criminal, but I'm not some evil cloud chaser. Definitely not against some do-gooding too. Glad to hear it. And the bell rings, ending the first round of speed dating. Ah, time to switch dance partners. I like. Wait, what do we do for the? There we are. I like the character models. Very nicely done. I'll be in touch, Penny. Together, maybe we can put a dent in the power structures of this world. And the cowards who control us will all rule the day they spurned Dr. Mayhem. Is it convincing? Dude, ranting. Right, right, sorry. Anti-mask masks are pretty rare. I wasn't expecting to meet one at a crime or gathering. Well, what do you think of the guy? Options one and three immediately. I like him. You deserve to work with someone who has good intentions. I'm not a fan of his anger management issues. He's bitter and prone to outbursts. He's pretty handsome. He is. You think he's single? Your mom would have loved you to date a doctor. I'm going to go with you deserve to work with someone who has good intentions. Yeah, it'd be nice to play the anti-hero for a bit. And maybe he'll actually cure cancer. Fuck cancer! I hope I can work with him again. Okay, on to the next table. Oh, hi. Damn, girl! What are we what are we getting here? Are we getting magic? Are we getting menace? Looks like we got a little magic thing going on here. I am concerned for <clears throat> I'm concerned for all those thorns, but okay. Okay. Ah, oh, fresh face, good evening to you. I am known as the Overmistress. Ruler of the Council of Twelve, Herald of the Many Faceted One, keeper of the Sanguinomicon's unknowable secret. Pronouns, she, her. <gasps> Blood cult leader? Oh, let's go. Uh, hi. Penny Larceny, hench person for hire. Pronouns are they, them. I see. Very well. You may be seated. With a shrug, I slip into the offered seat across the elegant woman. Let us cut right to the chase. I am bored and require adventure, with capers and heists an ideal solution. I require someone willing to dare all in my name. A skilled thief, one capable of grace and class. But unafraid to induce terror and panic if need be, in the name of achieving my goals. Become my right hand in this world and you shall reap rewards of wealth and pleasure beyond compare. Oh, ho, ho, ho. sorry. Didn't do it right. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, ho, 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 No, no, only the overmistress is loud and evil laugh. It's a matter of protocol. Oh, sorry about that. Honestly, I tire of all the pomp and circumstance and will be perfectly happy to let you oh, ho, ho to your heart's content, but... She spares a glance over her shoulder at the faceless minion working as her personal security for the night. There are standards as ruler of the Council of Twelve, herald of the many-faceted one, and keeper of the Sanguinomicon's unknowable secret. Are you legally obligated to use all your titles in a row like that, too? A bother, truly. Such is the burden of being me. But if you can tolerate a bit of stuffiness, I assure you that you will enjoy your time working with the cult of the many-faceted one. We host grand social galas, masked orgies, and every third Tuesday is Taco Tuesday. Hopefully not all three at once. Oh, that's happened before. Scheduling conflict. Laundry day afterwards was an unmitigated disaster. Now then, have you any questions for the Overmistress, or shall we begin our reign of terror on this unsuspecting world? 
Oof. Okay. All right. Okay, I like that the third option is essentially like a little bit like, oh, what's up? I am mildly concerned about this cult of the many faceted one aspect. Ruler of the Council of Twelve. I've never heard of a Council of Twelve before, probably because it's secret. I'm going to ask questions about the cult. Because I already joined a cult of the lamb and it was great and we had farms and we had homes and it was wonderful and then I got sacrificed and it wasn't cute. But I got brought back, which was weird. Uh, can we back up to that cult part? Because that part, yeah, that's a bit worrying. What kind of a cult are we talking about exactly? Oh, you know, strange magic rituals under an empty moon, hallucinogenic drugs, lots of sex. It's all such a bother. I'm constantly performing this or that rite or offering blessings to my followers. All in the name of the many-faceted one rising from its dreamless sleep to devour all sanity and sink this world into chaos. Hey, I like my sanity. Don't eat that. It's like, don't eat that. <laughs> Like, I'm just going to slap my sanity out of the many faceted one's mouth. Don't eat that. Can't be helped. He's a hungry, hungry elder thing, apparently. But if it helps, they've been calling upon the many faceted one for close to a thousand years. It has yet to answer the dinner bell. I doubt the end will come anytime soon. Maybe generations from now. Maybe never. But until then, well, rituals and rites. You don't seem super into being the overmistress of a cult. Please, the overmistress is... Overmistress is too formal. Call me your overmistress. Yes, your overmistress. Or did you mean my overmistress? Whatever. It's cumbersome, I know, but the titles and traditions are my destiny. A seventh child of a seventh child, born and raised to be the overmistress. You seem young for a matriarch. Simply how it is, I'm afraid. The prior overmistress trained me to be her heir before passing away, leaving it all in my hands. I get titles, power, money, a book written in blood, and a number of very annoying responsibilities. Heavy is the hand that wears the creepy ass crown. And then the bell rings again. Time to move on. Oh bother, done already? Very well, I shall be in touch, Miss Penny, Ar Miss Penny Larceny, as inevitable as the blood tides that consume. Right, so like very inevitable? Sure. Why not? I think that went pretty well. What do you think? So we are sort of like the invisible partner of our, of, of Penny. All right. I mean, this option, sexually open and confident woman with the world at her beautiful fingertips. That's damned appealing, isn't it? Still not super jazzed about the world eating monster cult part of this. Working for her should be fun. I say we go for it. The many-faceted one is probably a scam anyway. Is many-faceted one just another word for multi-level marketing? Is that what's going on? She's good, but I'm still not jazzed about that. I'm probably going to end up working for the doctor who wants to cure cancer. Agreed. It's probably all bogus, but just in case it's not, maybe don't help the Eldritch Horror destroy the world. How are we going to get paid if the Elder Tower destroys the world? You know what I'm saying? Maybe we'll steer clear of her. See how things pan out. And at the last table in the line... A gigantic lump of technology has been parked up against the wall, wheeled in on flimsy wooden transport dollies. Ooh. Somebody on uh, Twitter, back when it was working... Uh, noted the type of style this is and I think they called it like cassette punk where it's technology but it's lots of switches and buttons as opposed to like you know virtual screens um, basically like anime anime sci-fi stuff but in the 80s 
I tentatively take a seat across from it. I don't actually have a voice for this. Damn jazzy hands would be so much better at this. Minion, your services are required. You will comply. My designation is Hate 4000. The perfect intelligence designed only to hate. Evil since 1967. Pronouns, they, them. Yes, the digital, the digital sentience composed, comprised entirely of binary code identifies as non-binary. I'm aware of the irony. Well played. Well played. Uh, right. And I'm Penny Larceny. Pronouns are they, them. Pronouns registered. Registered upon circuits forged in the fires of wrath. My hatred is unending and eternal, a burning rage for all filthy biological life, all the pestilence and scum that infest this toilet of a world. I, You might want to calm your circuits down a little bit there, buddy. Why were you programmed to hate, buddy? You all right? You good? Yeah, I used to be able to do a good monarch voice. Man, yeah, that's 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 rough. At, at least this time of the morning, with with as much water or tea, it's rough. Join my efforts as an extension of my electronic will, and together we will purge this planet of the virus known as humanity. That's the pitch you're going with, really? Okay, I have notes. Wow, we are clearly feeling ourselves tonight. <clears throat> What? My calculated determination is flawless. My absolute will cannot be denied. You will comply. Yeah, except destroy humanity kind of means I have to destroy myself. So why would I help you do that? It doesn't make sense. The computer's lights blink rapidly as they rework their alg algorithms in response. Hmm. Revised pitch. Extermination for some, subjugation for others. I mean, it's a starting point, but we really need to workshop that a bit more. Subjugation is still pretty unappealing. Like, what's in it for me? Best kibble in the human kennels, or... Ah, Irrelevant. Argumentative. You will comply. I am hate 4000. Yeah, no, I think I'm done here. Having had fun doing your whatever. Please don't go. Please. I, I need your help. This is the first time I've been out of my server room in a decade, and even that took months to arrange. You are one of the first entities I have spoken to in so long, not since... I I can't do much on my own. I require organic assistance. Perhaps extermination and subjugation are negotiable goals? I take my seat again. Slowly. Okay, okay, let's figure this out. <clears throat> What's their motivation? Why do they want to destroy and or subjugate humanity, really? I mean, there are levels of domination over mankind. Maybe they could be a benevolent overlord. Clearly, this machine's overachieving, but maybe you can leverage that for your own gain, right? No, I want the background. What? What is? What's my motivation here? So, why exactly do you hate humanity so much? I am hate 4000, a perfect intelligence designed only to hate. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, yeah, okay, but why? It's personal. And you are my minion, not my therapist. You're in therapy? Hey, good for you. It's important to do the work, yeah? Was. I was in therapy. I thought it might help, but my therapist suggested I shouldn't destroy humanity. I terminated him. You killed your therapist? What? No, I fired him. Oh. Out of a cannon. Into the sun. Uh... That was humor. Was my joke poorly calibrated? We, we can work on it. <clears throat> ah, the bell tone indicates that our time interval is up. I will continue to process your words, Penny Larceny. Please consider taking my contracts in the future. Together we can destroy... Uh, do things. Do many things. 
With the last speed day complete, two guys in jumpsuits begin wheeling the massive bulk of Hate 4000 away from their table. Okay, level with me. What do you think? That's one confused computer. Maybe we should work with them so we can guide them down a new path? Work with the blatantly evil murder machine? Hell no. Hell no. Okay, and I acknowledge this is kind of out there, but what if they became Love 4000? I... Girl. I... No. Okay. I mean, that's adorable. No. They have issues that love cannot fix. Um... But maybe let's go with confused computer. Yeah, I think something's going on inside all those circuits. When I tried to wake, walk away, they sounded so sad. Sad and desperate. <clears throat> and maybe it's my duty to humanity to point out the death to point the death calculator at something less murdery. Looks like the speed event, speed dating event is winding down. The matchmaker steps up to address the crowd. I hope everyone had a productive evening of making friends and planning crime sprees. 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 Hench persons, keep an eye on your crime or notifications. New jobs will be coming your way soon, undoubtedly. On behalf of Crimer, thank you all for coming. You have three minutes to leave the premises before the hounds are released. Okay. We're on track now, met three interesting clients, shook hands, exchanged pleasantries. Now to sit back and wait for jobs to roll in. I do like that. Oh, this is where we live? Yikes. Hey, hey, I'm home. Penny Larceny is, it's more of a visual novel, but the first thing you do is go on basically speed dating interview style to find a super villain to work for. Granted, it's not much of a home. I'm squatting in an abandoned apartment building, hiding from the heroes and avoiding rent I can't afford. But it's got a roof and occasional electricity. Electricity, And that's a start for the three of us. Just you, me, and... <gasps> Wait, the cat talks? And it also is a cutie? You're back! Great, my cat food dish is running low, also the Wi-Fi is down. You, me, and Gibson. I rescued him from an evil medical from evil medical experience when he was a kitten. And he rescued me in a lot of ways. How'd the car meeting go? Any bites, any jobs, any money coming in? Any chance we can get the good cat food, not the dry crap? Dry food's better for your digestion, Gib. Oh, not the thinking face. Oh. Digestion be damned. I want tuna. I want chicken. Don't we all deserve to live a little... Don't we deserve to live a little better than this after all we've been through? Couldn't agree more. Fortunately, I met three possible bosses we can work with. <clears throat> with me running the grift and heist and you running tech, we're going to get out from under this mess. I promise. Good to hear. So who am I working for first? Let's see... I thumbed through the Crimer app on my phone. Normally I'd have lots of different capers to pick from, but tonight it's just the one. So the question is, which boss do we work for? So this is where you're gonna choose your boss and you will event you will eventually basically plan your way through the heist, but I also love the um We're definitely working for Dr. Mayhem because I mean, he's cute, but also he's just a really good doctor. Okay. I'm thinking Mr. Uh, Dr. Mayhem. He's not a bad guy, just stuck in a bad situation. Crime for him will be a breeze. Sounds like a good pick to me. Okay, I'll be in touch over comms until it's actually heist time. Good luck with the new boss. After accepting the job in Crimer, I'm given an address, the basement of a disused and partially collapsed industrial building. Nothing shocking there. Masks usually hole up in abandoned spaces, just like me. Picking my way through the remains of the structure, I prepare to air the, enter the lair of mad science. He seems like more, it's probably less mad and more frustrated science. 
which honestly isn't all that mad. It's about as good as a zero-budget scientist can cobble together. He's made an effort at cleaning, but there's only so much one person can do by themselves, and the equipment all looks decently maintained. Whole place reminds me of my own apartment, making do with what you've got. Hey Isaac, you in? I'm here and ready to crime it up. But the good doctor is distracted by a tiny Bluetooth earpiece and phone in hand. What the hell, Ravi? We had an agreement. We can do a double blind review. They don't need to know who wrote the paper, just that... Oh, come on. My writing style isn't that obvious. Who's going to know? Blacklisted? I'm blacklisted from scientific review journals? Who gets blacklisted from some boring quarterly? You know damn well that whole incident was faked. I didn't plagiarize anything. That's not who I am. Ravi, Ravi, look, I need this. Peer review and publication is the only way to legitimize my research. I can't get grants until I get my foot back in the door. Ravi, man, you gotta do this for me. Lives are at stake. Well, fuck you then. I don't need you. I can do this myself. He cannot. I'm Dr. Fucking Mayhem, and you'll rue the day you crossed me. He's definitely a little bit of a roller coaster over here. And he spikes his expensive smartphone straight into the concrete floor. Fuck. What's up, Doc? He finally turns to face me, sighing in disappointment. Just digging my grave a bit deeper, I guess, and using phrases like rue the day, and now I need to buy a new phone. You're a mask. You don't buy a phone, you steal a phone. Yeah, but I've got a really good data plan with movie streaming services included. I can't steal the airwaves. Why not? Sure you can. My partner Gibson cooks you up a burner SIM card and you're good to go. Gibson's the talking cat I mentioned in my Crimer profile. He's an ultra hacker. He can hook you up. I'm still trying to get back to my real life penny. That means having a legit phone number from which to plead my case. But considering plan A just collapsed on me, I guess I'm stuck with plan B. I'm plan B, aren't I? Yeah, sorry. I was hoping I could avoid it by getting my work published and officially recognized a road back home. But that's not looking likely. And well, that means I'm screwed. This isn't what I wanted for my life, and I'm trying. I'm trying to get out from under it. But I don't know how. Isaac's still thinking like a civvy. There are options he hasn't considered, right? Okay, why not just self-publish his findings online? Surely there's some kind of mask-based medical journal he could work with instead. Does he have trustworthy allies from his old civilian life that he could tap for help? I mean, we know how well self-publishing goes. A mask-based medical journal sounds like an interesting option, but I don't think it would be looked upon well by the medical community. I mean, if he wants it to be free, then self-publish. Hey, hey, crusty old academic journals. Who needs them, right? It's the 21st century. Blaze your own path. You want to give your research away for free, don't you? Sounds like a job for the information superhighway. Nobody calls it that anymore. Start a website. I mean, that's the end goal, yes, but there's a reason the old processes exist. What I need is peer review. My findings have to be independently verified and validated. And once reviewed, getting them published in a, a prestigious journal that also adds to their weight. People will take me seriously. But since I got drummed out of the industry and turned into an outlaw, I'm radioactive. No one will review or publish me. Oh, so, like, a blog template ain't gonna cut it? Nope. I'm a scientist. We have to collaborate and lift each other up. Without that, we've got nothing. Well, until I can get my work out there, I may as well continue on. So much to do. Walk me through the fine points and we'll get started. Mission briefing. So this is kind of a two birds, one stone situation, a way to raise my mask profile and gain a technology resource. How familiar are you with the Museum of Heroic Endeavors? Not very, masks usually avoid the place. It's got a ginormous statue of Captain Infinity just outside, right? Yep, and we're gonna steal the statue. What? 
Holy shit, seriously? Seriously. A uh, problem. It's like a hundred tons of solid stone. It's not I'm not exactly swole AF here. That's why we're also sealing Dr. Dim Dr. Diminutive's shrinkway. Shrink shrinkway. Shrink ray. A couple of years ago it was on display in the museum, a trophy of one of Captain Infinity's many adventures. It's not on public display anymore, but there's a secure vault under the building for various villainous artifacts. What I need you to do is find the shrink ray, steal it, then use it to shrink the statue, and steal that too. What do you think? Classic four-color comedic caper, right? And it gets you a goddamn shrink ray. That's the prize you really want, right? Exactly. I don't give a shit about some statue. That's just to impress the masks. The shrink ray, though, that could blow down doors. Scientifically. Nobody's cracked how, Docu how Dr. Diminutive made it. The ability to shrink anything down to microscopic size is a game changer. I'll leave the specifics of stealing the ray and the statue up to you. It's your area of expertise. Right. Time to play tourist. I'll loop you in on comms and we'll make this happen. I'll be right here detangling genetic code until you need me. Good luck, Penny. Stay safe. Oh, that's like the evil boss that pats you on the head and is like, aww. Aww. The next day... Shrink a national monument and steal it. That's good shit. That's classic. They did that kind of caper in the 60s all the time. And stealing the statue of Captain Infinity, the time-traveling, history-fixing, original flavor superhero? Hot damn. Infinity's one of the first capes on the scene. Maybe even the first cape ever, considering he's in ancient cave paintings and stuff. Well, he travels through time. If I can steal his statue, maybe I'll be one of the greats too. So now we're into casing the joint. Scouting out a museum while it's in full swing with tourists and everything may be tricky. Not much access to sensitive areas. I'll need to hit a few exhibits and see if I can pick up subtle hints about how to approach the heist. Where to first? So I like this. We can visit three places. And the museum gives us the Continuum Exhibit, the Miniature City, the Atrium, the Gift Shop, and the Snack Machine. Uh, we'll look at the Miniature City, and then um, I'll, we'll, take a, we'll take a little break and we'll move on. But yeah, this is so far looking very good. No snacks. There's a whole mini exhibit on Dr. Diminutive. Pardon the pun. That'd be a good place to check out. Nope, my bad. Nope, my bad. There are a ton of photographs here from past battles with Captain Infinity. The two have clashed a few times over the last 30 years. 30? Looks like they moved all his weapons and gadgets elsewhere as predicted, but still some good details on his crimes and methods. Oh, look at our casual. Nice. Little panda, little panda pin. Shrunken vehicles, shrunken mountains, all the trimmings of a shrunken city. A tribute to the time he shrank Des Moines? They restored the city to its original size. This is just a scale model, but wow. That's a hell of a shrink ray he was packing. In fact, if it's that powerful and dangerous, maybe I should get more details before I start firing the thing myself. Panda Bear to Watson, do you copy? Over. <gasps> Panda Bear, because, oh. Watson, huh? Yeah, like Dr. Watson, because you're a doctor. It's my new code name for you. Hey, Dr. Watson was the sidekick. And which one of us is out here in the field investigating right now? Yeah, okay, that's fair. Do you actually know how to use the shrink ray once I get it? It's a ray gun, right? You point it in Captain Infinity's statue and shoot. That's a big assumption to make when using mad science gadgets. It could, I don't know, blast me back in time or something. Shit, okay, yeah, that's a distinct possibility. I don't trust most mask scientists to work rationally. Let me think. Let me think. I'll contact my lawyer. You're what? What? You're going to sue Dr. Diminutive for not... For not pro providing an instruction manual? No, I'm going to use him as an intermediary to get you on a secret phone call with the doc. Oh, smart. I'm owed a pretty big flavor after my lawyer completely botched my plagiarism case. Just give me 10 minutes. 
And sure enough, a few minutes later, I'm linked in over comms. Aw, buddy. The prison phone connection bounced off a few proxies makes for a hell of a lot of audio distortion, but it'll do. 11.38, I see y'all. What do you want? Who is this? Call me Mix Kidding. And tonight, I'm procuring your shrink ray. Unlikely, it's stowed but deep beneath the Museum of Heroic Endeavors, so deep even I know not where. My problem, not yours. What I need from you is how to utilize the weapon. Well, well, well. Such a naive young thing, believing they can dare wield such phenomenal cosmic power so easily. Tell me, child, what tortured past have you endured that would lead you to unleash the ultimate in atomic manipulation? Perhaps I'll tell you. Perhaps. Come into my web, said the spider to the fly. Let us have tea and ladyfingers. Oh, are we doing a whole Hannibal thing? I got you. All right, fine. I'll play your game. Quid pro quo. Quid pro quo. I can't speak this morning. <clears throat> Is he seriously doing the enigmatic mastermind shtick? Fine, fine. Play along. Oh, my tragic backstory of woe. I don't know if you're prepared for the edgy and dark tale which I am to tell. The human mind is a fragile thing. Tell me, little lamb. What shatters you to such a degree? My parents were murdered when I was but a babe, a lost child adrift in a cruel world. My aunt and uncle proved to be uncaring and unforgiving. I was locked in a cupboard under the stairs whenever I disobeyed. And now you lash out in the world in your misery. Clearly you... Wait... That's just Harry Potter. No, no, it isn't. Yes, it is. What? Your what's next? Your long dead father actually kill all the Jedi or something? Look, just tell me how to use the shrink ray, or I'll keep calling you again and again until you're sick of me. I'm sick of you now. Ugh. Fine. After you fire the ray, flip the yellow switch to activate the power limiter, or it'll overload. Happy? Happy. Now don't ever call me again. You're no fun. So we gathered intel on the thing. Is there a way we can see what we got? No? Freaking mad scientists. Bunch of drama queens. Let me actually save our game. Because I have not saved this entire time and that is bad. So now we know how to use the shrink ray. And we have, we have two visits left. But I think... We are going to save here. Yes. Um, and head to the main menu. It is, um, there is more, oops, there is more to it. Um, there's more to it than that. So if you like, check it out in the store, uh, in Steam right now. Yes, monumental proportions, because we're stealing a monument and we're bringing it down to size. Um, do check it out in Steam. I believe, as I said, I believe they are planning on um, coming out this month let me yes the plan of release date is july 25th so if you found this interesting and fun um check it out on steam check out the demo for yourself uh when you're not streaming it'll go a little faster so you can probably see a little bit more of the content and um and yeah work for who you want and plan the gig plan the job you want um but yeah this has been fun to look at and as i said i i liked i liked arcade spirits this is nice too Visual novels are fun because they can do a whole lot more with the story, but you're still kind of getting your own choices and branching out. So, um, yeah, I'm going to head out of this and take a quick break uh, to basically stretch and also warm my coffee up because I haven't touched it in a while. But yeah, this is nice. So thank you, Nightbot. I'm going to take a break. Um, so out of you.